Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn GitOps. So in this session, we will learn introduction of our GitOps. So let's start. So first of all, as you can see here, the architecture you can see first of all, then you can see here developer, then commit your Git, then pull changes, and you can see your Argo CD and then Kubernetes, right? So let's start to GitOps. So first of all, here as you can see some prerequisites, right? So here, first of all, we need to basic understand of Git and version control. After that, we need to familiarity with Kubernetes concept and then we need a basic understanding of DevOps principle, right? So you can see the prerequisites. So we need to understand basic Gits and the version control, then Kubernetes and then DevOps principle. Okay, the next is here. This GitOps concept. So first of all, what is GitOps? Then, uh, and then how it works. Then differentiate a uh, difference between GitOps and DevOps. Then core principle com components of GitOps workflow. Then benefits of GitOps and why do we need GitOps? Then GitOps architecture and then GitOps tools. Right. So first of all, what is GitOps? So here you can see. GitOps is a set of practices that uses Git as the single source of truth for infrastructure configuration and it automates the process of deploying and managing infrastructure by ensuring that the state of the infrastructure is always in sync with the desired state defined in Git. And you read it right. Then in a Git repository, enhance collaboration, then promotes transparency and reduces the chances of errors. So that's the small introduction about GitOps. Then after that, next is you can see difference between DevOps and GitOps, right? So you can see, first of all, in DevOps, it focus on automation and frequent deployments. Then GitOps is focus on correctness, doing DevOps correctly. Then DevOps main tool is CI CD pipeline and GitOps main tool is Git, right? Then in DevOps, supply chain management, cloud configuration as code and etc. And GitOps Kubernetes controller example operator, separate CI CD pipelines, infrastructure as a code and etc. Then in DevOps, flexibility less strict, more open. And in GitOps, flexibility stricter and less open. Then in DevOps, let's focus on correctness and GitOps is designed with correctness. So that's the difference or difference between DevOps and GitOps. So the main and important uh, difference is here you can see it focus on auto, uh, sorry, uh, DevOps main tool is CI CD pipeline and GitOps main tool is Git. So that's why you need to basic basic knowledge about your Git, right? Then benefits of GitOps. So as you can see here, you can see also advantage of GitOps, right? So first of all, scalability. So GitOps can be scaled to manage large and complex infrastructure environments and then reliability. Then GitOps ensure that the infrastructure is always in a healthy state by continuously verifying the actual state against the desired state. Then third one is security. So GitOps can be used to enforce security policies by defining the desired state of the infrastructure in Git. Then collaboration. GitOps makes it easy for a team to collaborate on infrastructure management by using a single source of truth. Then auditability. Then GitOps provides a complete audit trail of all changes to the infrastructure which can be used to troubleshoot problems or company with regulations, right? Then you can see why do we need GitOps, right? So GitOps came into existence to address the changes of managing infrastructure in a complex and dynamic environment. So traditional approaches to infrastructure management such as manual configuration and ad hoc scripting are not scalable or reliable. reliable. Then GitOps provides a more scalable, reliable and secure way to manage infrastructure. So that's why we need a GitOps, right? So you can see. After that, GitOps tools. 
So you can see some tools of GitOps. So first of all, Flux. So Flux was created in 2016, right? And it is a GitOps operator for your Kubernetes cluster. And it periodically pulls remote Git repository and looks for any new changes in the manifest file. And in case there is a chance, the in the repository, it applies the changes to the cluster. Then next one is Argo CD. So Argo CD is also a GitOps operator, but with a with a web user infrastructure. And it simulated your GitOps pipeline with visual and charts. Then you can also visualize your environment and application configuration using these tools. Then next tool is Jenkinx. So Jenkinx is a CI/CD solution for Kubernetes cluster, but different than classic Jenkins. So it is used as GitOps tools for cluster creation, container deployment, automatic rollback, etc. And when a change is pushed in a Git repository, Jenkinx will read and update its configuration after a build trigger. Then WKCTL. WKCTL is a GitOps tool that uses Git commit to manage the Kubernetes cluster. And GitOps running mode is where a cluster is configured based on the details present in a cluster. That means .yaml file, right? Cluster.yaml and machine.yaml file saved on Git. Then after that, the next tool is GitCube. So GitCube is a deal for de uh, development where it is used Git push to build and deploy Docker images on a Kubernetes cluster. And it is very easy to set up and requires simple public key based authentication. Then Quay. So Quay is managed by Red Hat and used for image management and image registry. And it provides security and reliability for images management. And it doesn't depend on GitHub. Rather, it works with an open premises image registry. Then Helm operator. So Helm operator is an open source Kubernetes operator to manage Helm chart releases declaratively when combines it with Flux. And it becomes a proper GitHub solution for automating the releases. So that's the GitOps tools, right? Okay. So here in this session, we have learned what is GitOps, then why we need GitOps, then some GitOps tools, and then some benefits or advantages of to GitOps and so on, right? Then we we will we have learned different the difference between GitOps and DevOps, right? What is the difference? So that's the small introduction about our GitOps, right? And you can see in tools, in GitOps tool, you can see there is a tools, Flux, Argo CD, JenkinX, WKCTL, GitCube, Quay, and Helm operator. So that's the seven GitOps tools, right? So you can see here the Argo CD, right? Okay. So that's the small introduction about GitOps. So in this session, we have learned what is GitOps. That means the introduction about our GitOps, right? Okay. So thank you for watching.